Hey guys and welcome back to another how to tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome home cinema. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make it. Right guys to make this really awesome home cinema the first thing we are going to need to do is find an area of where we want to build our home cinema. Now the cool thing about this guys you can make this room any size that you want to it is totally up to you but the size of the room that I'm going to be working with today is going to be 13 blocks wide and 19 blocks long. Now once you have found the area of where you want to build your home cinema guys the first thing we need to do is fill out the floor for our cinema and as you can see right here I have already done that and I have chosen spruce planks as the floor block for my cinema room. Now what we're going to do first guys we are going to work on the walls of this cinema room. Now the cool thing about this room this room is going to be split up into two sections so the first section we're going to do first is this front section right here. So the first block we need to grab is some spruce wood and starting from this left hand side we are going to place seven blocks of so one two three four five six seven like that and we're going to do the same on this side as well so one two three four five six seven then what we're going to do we're going to bring these in three blocks so one two three like this and one two three like this now this section right here is going to be our first little section and this section at the back is going to be our second section so what we're going to do on this first section we are going to build up the walls now the walls are going to be six blocks high but the second half of the wall is going to be made out of red terracotta so we're going to build this up by five blocks so one two three four five so now what we need to do is basically just fill up all of this wall right here with the red terracotta Right guys once we have done that we should get something that looks like this and as you can see the walls for the first section of our room are fully complete. Now it's time to work on the walls in the second section of the room. Now the walls in this section are going to be made out of three different blocks. The first block we are going to use is red terracotta. Now we're going to go to the back of the room right here and we're going to fill up terracotta all the way across this back wall. Now this wall is also going to be six blocks high so we need to build this up by six blocks. So this is number one and two, three, four four five six and we're going to fill that up a little bit later on now on the side walls guys now the side walls are the very unique walls of this room now we're going to start off with some gray concrete now you can use any gray block gray wall or anything like that it's totally up to you again these walls are going to be six blocks high so just fill all of these walls up with gray concrete as well and we're going to do the same on the other side as well so just fill up all of these walls right here so we've got the back wall that is going to be red terracotta and these two side walls are going to be grey. So once we are finished with the walls guys we should get something that looks like this but we are not fully finished with the side grey concrete walls just yet. We're going to add some final details to it. So now grab any black block. I'm going to be using black concrete. Now we're going to add some detail to both of these side walls. We're going to add something that looks kind of like a nighttime skyline. So what I recommend you do is basically just punch out different heights of blocks around this area make some small make some tall like this and what this will replicate is kind of like a little skyline in this room so as you can see right here so I've punched out all these blocks and then what I'm going to do is basically just fill these up with black concrete right here and this will add a really nice effect to the room just give the walls a bit more detail now we're going to do the same on the other side as well so if I step back here we get something that looks like this if you want to make one a bit higher you could do that like that so it kind of repl replicates a nighttime skyline like this so we're going to do the same on the other side so basically on each block just knock out a few blocks like this so you've got this kind of like pattern that's going up and down imagine they were buildings and some of the buildings are taller than the others and that is the kind of pattern that we want to go for once you have the pattern that you've decided then you just need to fill each one of these blocks up with grey concrete and then you get this really nice effect in this room and I think it really fits a home cinema room when you do a style like this for your walls so there we go guys these are the walls fully complete for the second section of the room 
So now that all the walls are complete for our home cinema guys, it's now time to start working on the interior of the room. So as you can see, we have our two sections, this first section right here and this second section right here. So what we are going to do is make this entryway look a little bit better. So grab yourself some dark oak planks and build them up all the way to the ceiling on each side of this entryway. Then grab yourself some dark oak stairs and at the top of this area right here, what we're going to do is place down some upside down dark oak stairs just like this then underneath this we're going to place one stair right there and one stair right there then we're going to go on the inside place another stair right there and another stair right there so you get this really cool stair shape in the middle then grab yourself some dark oak slabs and place one in the middle right here like that so that looks a lot better for our entryway now we're going to add a glass door to this area now for the glass door we need to grab some white stained glass panes and some spruce fences as well now with the white stained glass panes what we're going to do is put it on either side and we're going to place one there and one there and we're going to build this all the way up to the top of the door frame right here so just do it like that and we're going to do the same on the other side as well glass panes a little bit hard to place so make sure you take your time with it once we have done that we're going to knock out this block right here and this block right here and place a spruce fence in that block space right here so it looks like we have a nice handle for our door so there we go guys we've got a nice glass door that is separating the two rooms so now we're going to start working on the furniture for this little first section right here now in this section what we're going to have is a nice table in the middle and a little section over here that is going to be like a kitchen where you would have your snacks before you go and watch a movie so if we work on the kitchen section first we need to grab ourselves some quartz stairs and some quartz blocks and we're going to do a little Little fridge in this corner right here so place yourself down some two quartz blocks like this then an upside down stair and then place some quartz blocks on top so we get a nice simple fridge then grab yourself some spruce blocks right here and then just fill this area up like this and then knock out these two blocks right here then grab some quartz slabs and place them at the bottom of this two blocks right here and this is going to be like the sink for our kitchen area grab yourself some gray carpet place it on top so we have a nice little countertop right here then grab yourself a trip wire hook and put it above the sink so we get a nice little tap and then we're going to put a little cabinet at the top of this as well so grab some spruce stairs and just put some spruce stairs around like this we're going to put some there there and there like that and then we're going to put it above as well so an upside down stair and just connect them all together so we have a nice little cabinet in our kitchen area so this would be the area where you'd go get your drinks have some snacks and stuff like that if you want to add some more detail guys you can put some buttons on these parts right here just to make it look like a cupboard now in the middle we're going to add a nice little table now to mix things up a little bit we're going to put at some birch stairs as our table now find the middle of your room and it's in the middle of this doorway right here and just place down any block like that then we're going to put one block to the side and one block like that so two upside down stairs and then we're going to put two more and then two more the reason we're placing these ones in the middle is just so we have something to place the other stairs down so we should get something that looks like this then place another upside down stair this way and another upside down stair this way so they all connect together to make a nice little table now to add some detail to this table what you can do is grab some light gray carpet just place it on top like that and then put a pressure plate and put a pressure plate on there as well just so it looks like it's got some stuff on the table you can add some flower pots as well if you want to add that extra bit of detail to the table too and it could even look like a cup and people are waiting to go in the cinema now we're going to add some extra stuff on this side of the room a little bit later run now we need to go into the cinema room now for the cinema room we obviously need to add a huge big screen tv so what we're going to do with that we're going to use any kind of black block you can use black coal black concrete it's totally up to you and we're going to start from two blocks from the edge so one block down two blocks from the edge we're going to put a block there we're going to do the same on this side so one block down two blocks from the edge we're going to put a block there and we're going to do the same at the bottom as well so one block up two blocks from the edge a block there then one block up two blocks from the edge a block there now this is going to be the size of our big screen tv so we obviously just need to knock out all of these blocks right here and then fill up our huge big screen tv 
Once we have done our big screen TV guys, we then can start working on the seating for our cinema room. Now the seating for this room is quite important because we need to make sure the seating looks nice and even so the room looks very evenly spaced out. Now what I recommend you do for this is grab any kind of blocks and we're going to make some markings so we get the seats in the right positions. So starting from this corner over here, I recommend you place down three blocks like this, then turn on the inside and place blocks all the way across this side right here and until you get to the middle of the room. Now this is the middle of the room right here as you can see by the doorway. Then break the rest of the blocks that we just placed down right here. Now this is where our first seat is going to start. So what we're going to do is grab some quartz stairs, place two upside down quartz stairs on this side, then two upside down quartz stairs on this side. Now we can destroy this middle block right here and we're going to place a slab in the middle right here. Then at the back, we can place two slabs and then three slabs on top right there. Now this is going to be our first seat for our cinema room. Now each one of these seats will have a one block space between them. So what we're going to do is place down a half slab. So make sure we have a one block space, then another block right here. And this is where our seat is gonna go. Then we're going to put an upside down stair next to this so this might be a little bit tricky so you might need to place down a few blocks to get it in the right position and we're going to do the same on this side as well so place down two upside down stairs like that and we're basically making the exact same seat right next to it and we're going to do the same on this side as well so i know the seat is going to go there then we're going to place down some upside down stairs either side just like this and then slabs at the back too. So we have three seats at the front of our cinema room right there. So what we want to do now is do the exact same thing with these three seats at the back of them right here. But we need to make sure we get the right spacing. So I recommend you maybe put about three block gap in the middle of this or just make sure there's a three block gap at the back. So you could do one, two, three like this. And this is where you would start the back of your seat. So what we would do right here is maybe put like an upside down stair like this right here now I know uh, I know this bit right here could be a little bit confusing but it's all about marking out the right positioning for your seat so you have nice even spacing around your room once you get the spacing correct the seats will look really nice so as you can see right here so it's three blocks from the front then a two block gap in the middle then three blocks from the back so all the seats are in a nice even space so once we have the seats evenly spaced out guys that we can then finish off placing the rest of our seats so once we've done that guys we should get something that looks like this and so next what we're going to do and this might be a tedious part of making this room but we are going to fill this whole floor up with red carpet because any cinema you go into they always have red carpet so in this second section right here make sure you fill this whole floor up with red carpet but you're going to find little sections like this underneath the stairs where you cannot put carpet what i recommend you do for these areas is just place red wall underneath them like that so underneath each one of the stairs place red wall in the rest of the areas place red carpet once you have placed down all of the red carpet guys you can then see it really does give the room some character so what we're going to do here we're going to continue this red carpet all the way out across the front of this table so basically just continue it out right here until we get around the front of the table we're going to maybe bring it out two blocks either side like this and then we're going to bring it around this table once again similar to what we did in the second part of the room over there when you cannot place down red carpet i recommend you place down red wall instead and then you can just match the rug going all the way around so underneath stairs or underneath glass panes like this just place down red wall instead and and it really adds the nice character to the room so next what we're going to do guys we're going to work on the ceilings now the ceilings for this room are actually quite important because we're going to have two different types of ceilings now in this room we're going to have a very dark ceiling because a cinema room needs to be kind of dark but this room out here doesn't need to be dark so for this section over here what we're going to do is fill this part up with coal blocks because it will add a really nice dark feel to the room like a realistic cinema room and then for this section over here we're going to add quartz blocks for the ceiling because that will make it look a lot more brighter in the first section and then when you go actually into the cinema it will make it look a lot darker 
So as you can see right here guys, this section of the room is nice and dark so you can imagine watching a movie in this room but then this section here is nice and bright. But if you want to build this in survival or something like that, you can add some sea lanterns or some glowstone underneath the carpet to add some nice lighting. So maybe like put one light in the middle of the room right here underneath the carpet right there and then it adds some nice lighting into the room so it looks like the screen is lit up right there. So guys, as you can see right here, we have completed the majority of the cinema room, but there are some really cool details that you can add to this room to finish it off and I'm going to show you what they are. Now for the final details to the home cinema guys, if you have access to custom heads, you can add some really nice details. As you can see over here, I have made a custom popcorn machine that you can put on this side of the room. Now you know why I left this side of the room empty. If you want to know how to build this popcorn machine, I do have a tutorial on this on my channel and I will put a card up in the top right hand corner of the screen. I have also completed the front wall so you guys can see what it looks like right Right here and I've also added some buttons either side of this entrance way. So in the cinema room guys what we can actually do with our custom heads is place them next to the seat so it looks like people have got some snacks or like a burger or something and they're eating while they are watching the movie and it adds some really nice detail. You can even add some custom heads like on this side right here so people have left their popcorn there and they're waiting to go and watch the movie as well. I will leave a link in the description guys to all the custom heads if you have access to them so you can put them in your world as well but guys there we go a really nice home cinema that you can put in any of your builds but guys if you enjoyed this tutorial today and you want to see more just like it and you never want to miss an upload from me all you need to do is click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new tutorial but guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in another how to tutorial.